Hi, I'm uh, here at Intermont in Cologne, Germany. Uh, I'm going to present some of the new items and new exciting Ferratech products. Uh, begin here with this uh, Ducati Panigale. It's not the typical uh, Ferratech bike you're used to seeing, but uh, it's got some exciting technology with Ferratech suspension. Um, we're going after the uh, superbike crowd because it's a great way to develop new technology uh, and we're having great results. Uh, these bikes, uh, starting with the S1000RR and now moving to the Ducati, are posting very, very fast times at the track. Um, we're taking bikes that are in stock form with no modifications except for the shocks and fork cartridges um, that are beating full bike builds uh, and posting really impressive times. Um, this suspension is fully dynamic, like a lot of the shocks you get on a stock bike, a stock BMW or Ducati, um, but it's a standalone system with all new technology, faster valving, uh, better uh, shim stacks, proper spring rates. Um, these suspension systems really take a bike like this that uh, might not be manageable for the average rider and it smooths everything out and on the rough American tracks uh, circuits that we have with a maybe not so even road surface uh, the suspension really makes a, it tames this beast of a motorcycle and uh, makes it fun and fast to ride. This is a cool new product by Turatech. Uh, what this is is a pannier top bag that doubles as a backpack because a lot of times you're riding you need a little extra capacity but uh, on some of the trips that we do, we end up getting off the bike, maybe going to hike to see something, hiking into a campsite. And so it's nice to have something with straps uh, and shoulder straps used like a backpack. So the way this works is it clips to the pannier top lid pretty easily. And then in this compartment on the bottom, completely hidden are backpack straps. Uh, really clever design. Uh, it's made out of nice materials, lots of capacity. Uh, and it even has a hidden pocket here with a rain cover. So it has a bright reflective rain cover uh, for when it's raining out, you want to keep your stuff dry. Uh, just all in all, perfect size for on top of a pan here. Something that anybody can use, a uh, great product. Here at uh, Intermont Cologne, Turatech is displaying this beautiful uh, all black Africa twin. Uh, it's got all the nice Turatech parts on it, fully decked out. Uh, one of the coolest things on it is the Turatec cartridge kit. Uh, this is a fully drop-in cartridge system for the stock forks, no modifications necessary. Uh, these are a closed cartridge, so the oil is separated uh, for the damping and the lubrication. Uh, they come pre-charged, pre-assembled, uh, it's really just a drop-in cartridge, no, no machining or anything. Uh, this really wakes up the front end of this bike, uh, especially heavily loaded, doing long trips, a lot of hard off-road. Um, it just turns it into a totally different bike. Um, some of the other products that are on this uh, that are noteworthy, um, we have these new windscreens. Um, these come from a rally-inspired design. Uh, you'll notice the sharp angles at the top. Uh, uh, really kicks the wind up high, gives you a good bubble. Um, we're able to get really smooth airflow, but without too big of a windscreen. So rather than having a big, ugly windscreen, you get a similar effect by just having a little sharper angle. So uh, they're great looking windscreens. They come in clear or tinted, um, uh, just bolt right on like the stock windscreen. Uh, so it's exciting. And we're gonna see a lot of uh, new windscreens coming out for a lot of different bikes in the coming year. Uh, other parts on this bike, uh, you have the typical protection that Turatec always offers, upper crash bars, lower crash bars, skid plate, pan ears, pan ear racks. Uh, Turatec is fully outfitting these bikes uh, with great success, and so uh, we're real happy with the way this bike is performing. Here at Intermont and Cologne, Turatec is unveiling the new heat control heated seats. This will be a full line of heated comfort seats for adventure touring bikes and also street touring bikes. Uh, what's cool about these seats is they don't have any extra wiring, no knobs, no uh, controls on your handlebars. Everything is done right here through a simple button that's easy to touch with your glove. Uh, you know when it's working because there's a small vibration unit inside the seat that gives you a positive feedback so you know which setting it is, whether it's high, low, or off. 
Um, so these are real easy to wire up. Um, they feature a carbon fiber heating pad inside the seat that uh, is very, very efficient. Uh, it runs about a quarter of the, at about a quarter of the uh, consumption as a normal heated seat. So on bikes like the F800GS that maybe don't have that much uh, electricity available, uh, these seats aren't drawing too much power. Uh, so yeah, it's, a, it's a great option. You can hardly even tell the heating elements in there, except for when you really need it. For those cold rides, uh, it's a great option uh, because we all ride into the winter, into the fall, where uh, this would really come in handy. We've seen great success with the Aventuro Carbon Helmet, and so next year uh, we're going to unveil two new color schemes. Uh, we've got Dark Stone and Bright Stone. This is the Bright Stone. A little bit different graphics, uh, nice and aggressive styling with the yellow, gray, and black Tech colors. Um, and the Dark Stone, a little bit darker, not as much white. Uh, looks great with the carbon accents that show through. Uh, so. New, uh, new colors coming next year. This is something really cool that Turatech uh, is showing at Intermont this year. Uh, Turatech suspension is once again thinking outside the box. They've come out with a whole new separate line called Black T Suspension. And this line is going to be for the cafe racers, the scramblers, the retro bikes that are really popular right now. Uh, many of these bikes they look good and they're modernized from the original, but they haven't paid a lot of attention to the suspension. Uh, so uh, Turatech has come out with this line with high and low speed compression damping, all the features that are, are proven on an adventure bike. Uh, we've applied this technology to these retro bikes like the Thruxton R uh, and really made them a lot more enjoyable to ride. Along with this uh, will be cartridge kits, um, uh, maybe a little more basic shocks, uh, but it's pretty exciting to get into the twin shock market because there's a, a lot of uh, cafe racers, home-built bikes that just, uh, they don't have the shocks to make them fun to ride. They may look cool, but uh, they, they might not handle so well. So, a uh, cool new product line that's uh, coming up, uh, and uh, we're going to get to play with a lot of really cool bikes in this project. Thank you for watching these highlights at the uh, Intermont in Cologne, Germany. Uh, 2016 uh, at the Turatech booth. Uh, hope you enjoyed.